what's going on, Urban Adventures. Today we're doing a real cool adventure today. We're actually all here waiting in the water at this beautiful lake. This is my buddy Michael. Hello. And, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun today, catch some crappies, and uh, oh yeah, this uh, video is brought to you by PC Fun, so make sure you check out PCFun.com. And I got my PC Fun waders on. These are real nice waders, you guys. So yeah, let's go catch some fish. Yeah, it is. It's super calm. Yeah. It's not windy. Uh huh. Oh, nice crappie, guys. There he goes, guys. Good eater. <laughs> Yeah, I caught it on this thing right here. Pretty cool looking bug. Yeah, let's put this on the stringer. We'll do a little quick uh, fish fry later. So what I got is I got the bobber, orange jig head, and I'm using these prototype grubs. As you can see, I'm just waiting in this lake right here. It looks like I might have a bite, or maybe not. The water is definitely in the 60s. It's pretty chilly. What I'm doing is I'm just casting it out there, letting it sit, give it a couple of twitches, and just let it sit, and just pay attention to your bobber. I'm just moving right along the shorelines. Just trying to locate these fish. These crappies right now, they're just moving up and down the shoreline. This is the north shoreline, which gets the most sun. So most likely it's gonna be the warmest part of the lake. So you got away. Or got weed actually. Oh, got one. <clears throat> All right, got another one, guys. Oh, another nice size crappie. Look at this guy. This one inhaled it. You gotta let this one go. This one's a little smaller than the last one. There he goes. All right, guys, we got another one. Oh, another nice size crappie, guys. Oh, nice size one right here. I guess size crappie right here, guys. Good afternoon, Fish Talk. I am out here waiting, catching crappies. Oh yeah. There you go, guys. It's a good eater. 
go catch another one, guys. Bam. Beautiful fish. We got something nice right here, guys. Oh, another oh, crappie. Nice size crappies, guys. It's number three. Let's go. Let's go catch another one. Got back. Got my stringer back. <laughs> All right, guys, that one boat is gone now, so I can actually talk a little louder now. <clears throat> I don't like talking loud when there's people fishing close to me. They probably think I'm weird talking to myself, but it's okay. But yeah, so far we landed four crappies. I had to let the last one go because I lost my stringer. But luckily I got it back though. I saw my stringer flying past me. I stepped on the stringer line. And luckily I was able to get my stringer back. And these, these fish are just cruising up and down the shoreline right here. And a good size too. Good eating size. Anywhere between 9 to 11 inches. Perfect size. If I catch any of those big mamas here, those are definitely going back. Because those are definitely the future of this fishery. Again, right now I'm about three feet under under my bobber. I'm just casting it out there, letting my jig head sink. And then once it sinks, I'm just going to slowly twitch it back. And again, just paying attention to my bobber just to see if it makes any different movements besides when I twitch it. And if my line's tight enough, I can actually feel the fish take my line as well. I'm not letting it sit too long either. Oh, it looks like you got a fish. There it goes. All right, you got one, guys. Oh, this one feels nice. Feels like a bigger one. Oh. That's my video on? Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice crappie. Oh, look at this one, guys. Oh. it's another good eater. Good eater right here. Look at that. It's a nice size crappie. And just like that, guys. You could do this to any, any lake, too. Especially right now, the walleye crappies are... Getting pretty active. <clears throat> All right, we got another one, guys. Ooh, this one's a good fighter too. So like about these crappies in the winter time, they're a lot more aggressive, and they fight a lot more. Wow, look another one, another nice one, guys. Look at that. Wow, it's a nice, it's another nice eating crappie. All right, we're on probably 10, 10 and eleven inches. Rugged, rugged sized crappies right here, guys. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful fish. Rugged eating. Let's see if we can get this one on the stringer. The limit here in Minnesota 
is 10 crappies. Some special, some lakes have special regulations where you can only keep five. This lake you could keep 10, which I'm not gonna keep all 10 because I don't need that many fish. I'd say probably one more should be pretty good, so. Just give me a little nice fish fry. Oh. Oh, wow, nice. I have iPhone on my pocket. I just don't want like, the iPhone get, you know, I don't want to talk to you. Right, right. That's what I think is good. All right, Michael just got one on. Oh, good enough. Oh, one. good size. Look at that. Minnesota Krabbies. There it goes. So That's a good piece of um, Viper on. Make sure you kind of get yourself one very, very smooth reels. And yeah, the, with a 8 pound floor carbon. So. Nice. Yeah, the Viper is a real nice reel. Also, the Carbon X is another nice reel too from PC Fun. That's what I use for, for bass. It's a real nice reel. All right, guys, we are back from the lake. We had a pretty good time. We kept uh, we kept about five fish each, and yeah, we're gonna cook that for dinner. And uh, but here again, we got Michael. We had a fun time, and uh, yeah, this is actually the pair of waders that we're gonna be doing a giveaway on. So, so as we mentioned, the Tai Wei is also part of a fish fun company. Um, it's a sister company. Check out the brand names Tai Wei. Um, they actually making very very nice waders. That's uh, one of the waiters, actually, both of us we own right now. So, we will be actually giving this away. So, I have two of them here in front of me. Uh, just uh, let me know your comments for today's video, and then we will ship it out. So, so yeah, guys. So, yeah, all you got to do is uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully you guys had a lot of fun with us, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the water. All right, catch you guys later. Peace out.